This one's particularly interesting though, because we have tons of big hyper dogs. Now, as you know, I love working with hyper dogs, but trying to convey to people that a hyper dog is a smart dog is sometimes challenging. That's my goal in this class. She looks like a boxer pit mix. Is that's that what we're thinking? Smart. That's what they said. We're gonna teach our dogs how to look at us by using a hand signal. Dogs are heavily responsive to exaggerated body language. So in the beginning, it might look something like, Look at me like this, really, really exaggerated. We have a nice tight training bubble, close eye to eye. Now I don't know Biscuit too well, and I don't, if you were me, you'd be a little cautious about going eye to eye with a dog like this that you didn't know. Is he good with strangers coming into his area? He is, okay, very good. Look at me, yes, very good, nice work. Right here, eye to eye. I'm gonna hold up the treat, look at me, and since I like what he's doing, I'm gonna click because I like that. Remember, the click means good dog. I like what you did, you win a prize. Look at me. And I'm taking my time getting him the treat. As long as you mark that behavior with the clicker to let them know you like it, or a yes if you're not using the clicker, then you can take your time getting the treat to him. The click marks the behavior, not the treat. The most frustrating thing when working with a hyper dog is that they're so quick. It is on us to speed up to keep up with them. We've got to be able to nail the behavior with the clicker the instant they do it right. So in Panda's case, look at me right there. I mean, as I was saying it, I had eye contact right here. Look at me, very engaging. You've got to keep the rhythm up. You've got to keep the pace. You're going to have to make sure the moment he does something right, you're there. He's a fast paced train, a dog like this. So you, you can't be too slow. Within the next five minutes, every dog in here should be able to leave turkey alone when we put it in front of them. We're gonna show them how to do it without force, without pulling them away in any way. I'm gonna drop it on the ground. However, what's she gonna do when I drop it on the ground? She's gonna go for it. Show me a nice loose leash here, no tension. So I'm gonna drop it, but I'm not gonna let her get it. When she looks away, same concept, I'm gonna click her and I'm gonna pick up the treat and I'm gonna give it to her. Don't touch this. It's, all, it's not so much the words that you're saying. I think the biggest mistake we make when we're teaching a dog something new is we say words at them, but there's very little heartfelt communication. Even though she may not know what don't touch that means right now, she feels my energy. She knows what I'm going for. And she, you know, we've worked a little bit to build some initial communication. Don't touch this, please. I'm not gonna make her wait for an eternity. Right there, I'm gonna pick it up and give it to her. Don't touch this. And then if she, okay, and no tension on a leash. Only because, I know, because I know that's the instinct to pull them away. You should have faith in your communication. You should trust that your dog really will know what you mean if you just take a few minutes to communicate with them. Lure training is a concept of training where we use a treat to coax our dog into a specific position. So we're going to use that nose to our advantage right here. So just like this. Good. And we're gonna say sit as his butt hits the ground. Now he already knows sit. Does he know how to lie down on command? Somewhat. Somewhat, but not really. So we're gonna use the same concept of training here. We're gonna lure him down. A big mistake that a lot of people make with, oh wow, that's. He's making, a, he's making me look good here. A big mistake that a lot of people make with this though, is they do this. And, oh wow, well, all right. Normally they go fast is what they do. What you should do is you should let them nibble on it nice and slow. Now, if they, if they didn't lie down, all right, he's too good. I need a dog that's not listening quite that well. Yep. Why am I clicking Delilah right there? She did not lie down, but I clicked anyway. She's on the right track. Look, she's trying. It's, it's vital that when our dogs are on the right track, when we're teaching them something new, that we really let them know we like that. Yes, right there, that foot came forward. I'm gonna let her know I like it. That's one more step in the right direction. Yes. Oh, good. I'm gonna reward that, because that was very good. You see how both of those feet started to move, started to go into the down? Notice the training bubble, nice and low here, nice and tight. You see this? So with a new dog, again, this provides you're very comfortable with your dog, and we're comfortable with her, so we're okay with doing it. The next step is one of those feet is gonna move forward. At that moment, be ready to click. Do you know what I'm saying? Really good, and good. I love the kisses, I love the affection there. It's very genuine, it's very real energy. The more real you are, the faster your dog learns. Now we've got our attention. You never know when you're gonna get it, but now that we have it, yes, very good. We wanna seize that momentum right there. You see what I'm saying? Momentum is a big deal. We don't hear a lot about that in dog training because a moment ago, she was like, uh-uh, I don't feel like it, but now, all of a sudden, as those moments go longer and longer, that's the beginning. That's a sign that you're on the right track. 
I got lucky with a group of people here that seem to really get their dogs and you're very engaging with them. Be engaging with your dogs and it's such an impossible thing to really teach. It has to come from within but the more sincere you are with your dog, the more likely they are to respond to you. This is one of my new favorite classes really and I love all of my classes, Mwah, I promise I do. But it seems like these guys really got it. I saw very little frustration. Do you prefer working with a high energy dog or kind of more of a chill, low key dog? I mean, everyone's different. I personally like energetic dogs to work with, but that's me. Let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure you are subscribed and make sure you click thumbs up if you like this video and you want more videos like this and like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash thezachgeorge. Okay, love you guys and we'll see you in the next video.